I'm Millie from Step Into Life Coogee. Today I'm going to be running you through a little bit of work with the resistance bands to get supermodel arms. So, a good idea with your resistance band is to make sure you've always got it anchored correctly underneath your foot. You don't want to fling up, otherwise you'll lose your nose. Standing on the black part of the band, making sure you're not standing on any rough surface. Thinking about the posture, lifting up between the pelvis and the sternum, taking that arm up, supporting at the front, and then straightening up. You see the muscles in the back of the arms, the triceps working with this exercise, and the triceps make up two thirds of the muscles of your back of your arms. So you don't want to forget about these ones. If you're finding the resistance a little too easy, all you need to do is gently release, work your way a little further down the band. Again, resetting, lifting up between the pelvis and the sternum, and working with your breath. Ooh, I think I might have taken a little bit too far. Again, if you need to take it a little lighter, move your weight down the band and straighten up the back of the arm. Exhale as you straighten out. Inhale on the lower back down. Now at our sessions down at Step Into Life Coogee, we use rubberized resistance to add variety through your sessions. But it's a good idea for you to use rubberized resistance not only to create variety, but also because you've got resistance in both directions. These are also a great tool to travel with. I always travel with a rubberized resistance band and a skipping rope because you can pop them in hand luggage and even if your luggage gets delayed, you've always got a place to work out. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Millie from Step Into Life Coogee. Have a great day.